Hey guys, Shane Storms with DrawerMotorX.com. Today I'm just going to do a quick review of the ribbons feature in AOKP. I'm going to show you guys real quickly how to set it up and how to use it. If you're not familiar with ribbons, it is one of the primary features in the latest versions of AOKP. Uh, basically, it is their attempt at multitasking. So we know Paranoid Android has Halo and HTC has the Sense Recents. Um, this is kind of their recent application. It makes multitasking very simple, very easy. You can access it from any window within Android. So if you're in the browser, you'll be able to pull up ribbons uh, or you can pull it up from the home screen or wherever it just makes getting from app to app very easy. So real quickly, I'll show you what it looks like and then I'll show you how to set it up. So if we swipe from either the left or the right side, we should get a ribbon. I've got mine set up on the right side now. As you'll see that it gives you a list of applications. These are applications that you personally add. So we went to settings, ROM control, and we'll look for the ribbons. So just so you know, I'm on a Verizon Galaxy S4. It may look a little different, uh, but basically what you want to do is go to the right ribbons items. You'll add whatever items you like. Uh, you can add any Android system apps or you can choose a custom app and go into your application drawer and find the application that you want to add. And it looks like you're even able to add uh, website bookmarks if you like. You can add playlists or uh, Google Maps, whatever, whatever you want. Okay, so once we have our application set up, we'll go into the ribbon settings. You will enable it, so just check the enable button. Uh, you'll choose the swipe area long swipe and choose what it does. Uh, so if you do the long swipe, uh, it can bring up any assortment of different applications or you can bring up the app window. And then the swipe area long press, you can choose to uh, say send that home. So if I'm in the browser and I just long press the swipe area and then it would take me home. You can choose to enable vibration so once you swipe it it'll vibrate the phone. Okay and then this is where you choose the location so uh, I'm gonna have mine centered so when I grab the center of the screen and swipe it'll bring out ribbons but you can choose top bottom or centered. Same thing with icon gravity top bottom or centered. You can choose the color of the ribbon You can choose the height and width. You can choose the ribbon color. You can choose the animation type. You can choose the animation duration, icon size, and icon space. Okay, so we'll go ahead and try it out with our new settings. You can see, if you choose to color the ribbon, you'll see it at all times. It'll always be present on your screen. And when you pull it open, there is your ribbon. Okay, same thing whenever you pull it open there. Now if I close it, and long press, it'll send me home because that's the setting that I made. Anyways, guys, that is the quick review of the AOKP ribbons. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage like this in the future. You can find more of me at DroidModerX.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.